M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Fadji Reborn, I get a lot of messages to provide the link to download this bin file, which I will provide in the description of this video. But it is very important that you read the instructions because you do need to make a backup before you try and load this, this software. It's beta software and it's in testing. And if you don't take a backup of your calibration configuration, you could you know, ruin the settings inside your radio. I find the best way to take a backup is to use the IJV software here. If you look at the top here, it's called the K5 program. See it going blue there. Download that and you get a window that you can see here. And I'll just open it for you. And when the radio is connected and not in firmware mode, this is the, the actual window you get, and not in firmware mode, you'll be able to read the configuration and write the configuration, read and write. So it'll, it'll give you a file. Let me just grab it and plug it in and see if I can show you. Okay, I've plugged it in. I've selected the COM port. To find your COM port, go right click, device manager, normal Bofun cable, double click, look, and there's your COM 11. As soon as you connect this, it's really good. Select COM 11, and I can now read the configuration saves a file there you are there's your file let's call it number seven i've done this many times save so remember where you put that and i can read the calibration and it actually says the word calibration number seven save that way you can write it back to the radio watch if i write it back here write configuration and remember to choose configuration that's the wrong one because i chose configuration so right calibration okay I'm again <laughs> uh, right there it goes it's writing it back and that's cool now if I get the radio and turn it off after this I'm gonna turn it off unplug the cable turn it on it's flashing white light as usual so we're in firmware mode and I go right to firmware, and watch this, I'll go to the Fadgy. And this is how you download firmware. You click the one you want, so you know there's many here, and there is the PDF which I have converted into English, so you can read the instructions, which are here. And of course there's a big disclaimer on this, and there should be, because it's very risky. Attention before using firmware you need to back up the EEPROM via and he and even here it says K5 program I didn't see that because everything gets overwritten and then you can scroll down and start to look at the instructions how to actually use Fadgy it's nothing like any other firmware you've knew, you've used so you do have to relearn it with the Fadgy Reborn so that's really important but anyway let's um, grab my set so to grip to get the firmware, scroll through, and there's a long list here. Choose the one, obviously we're trying to choose the newest one. So if I just click on one at the bottom here, just above where the instructions are in Russian. Now if you want to find the UK instructions, go to this page here, that's my Facebook page, and look in files, I'll put a link in for that as well. But to get the bin file that you need, just click it, and then up here you get the information on the bin file which you can copy but the quickest way is just to click here look and it's downloaded U UK5 Spectrum Reborn. So if we go back to the program here which is a really good program by IJV and of course check out the IJV firmware. We should be able to write that to our radio. Now our radio is connected so let's just go write firmware find the we're looking for what we just downloaded which I'm pretty sure was in my downloads folder this is why it's always important to remember where you put things I'll find it in a sec here's my downloads I've already made a backup so we're going to go UVK5 Fadgy Reborn 22nd of the first the date on this one it goes my phone, of course, but it is downloading the firmware. 
Okay, and then so Fadji Reborn is now loaded. So have a little play. You've got the links in the description for the firmware. And the K5 Pro software will be in there as well. Remember to carefully read the instructions. Quickly show you them again now. A disclaimer telling you to back up, preparing to work with the firmware. So, you know, when you first turn on, hold down the button exit to reset settings to initial for, the, for this firmware. The reset will occur for some time and then the radio will start and be ready to use. And then you've got your different controls there. Control, any screen, frequency, read the you know just read these i've converted them to english so i'm going to slowly scroll through them it's only two pages you've got control frequency screen f options vfo save to save channel screen with preset now this is a spectrum f preset parameters are saved immediately vfo so far the vfo screen has two vfos but there is support for a single one you just need to figure out how to manage the modes up and down arrows go to the next and previous channel two long switch between vfo oh, so number two long switch between vfo three is vfo memory zero switch in the modulation naught to nine entering the frequency character f Function one and function two, monitoring mode flash, then you've got the spectrum and so on. So have a look, it's all there. Pause it. And uh, just be careful with this film. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 73.